Hello everybody, I'm Brian Collins. Um, today we're going to talk about this Cool Life Trail Camera. Uh, it's a pretty awesome little deal. It is a 16 megapixel um, still image size or 12 or 8 megapixels. Um, it does 1080p, 720 and 480p recording. It has a 2.4 inch LCD screen. It has a 25 meter range of infrared flash and it looks like an 85 foot triggering distance. It has 125 degree um, infrared lenses. That's what these are uh, down here that uh, allow you to that trigger it. A 0.2 second trigger speed, 16 month standby time, and of course it is IP67 rated for waterproof. So the, it shouldn't be affected by any sort of rain or snow or that sort of thing. This camera I'm gonna set it up I've got a I've got a nesting dove that's in a tree right outside my house so I'm gonna set this camera up and I'm gonna let it take some pictures and take some video and um, see how it works out and I think it'd be kind of a cool way to shoot to test it so um, stay tuned for that and now let's get to the unboxing okay so what we have here is the cool life digital trail camera um, I should have pre opened this a little bit so these are kind of fun. You can put these outside, catch your, capture some wildlife shots, um, you know, just keep some basic security on your house, whatever you want to do. So in here we've got, we've got a, a book. This is, um, there's a trail camera and then the quick user guide and quick user guide. Yeah, so there's tons of those. And then we have some cables. We have, of course, a, oh, wow, wow. This isn't even micro USB. This is just mini USB. I didn't even know they still made those. Um, here we've got some, looks like RCA cables, which, I mean, what even uses those anymore? So that would, that's gonna be interesting to find out. And then here is the actual camera itself. It looks like we've got a bunch of accessories. I'm just gonna get everything out here. Um, so that's it. Box that deal. So, that's cool. They give you kind of a mounting plate here. Um, you can, looks like it's got a little O-ring here for um, adjusting the camera, putting it on there. It looks like a hex key, tightens it up, made of aluminum, seems like. So that's kind of nice that you have those options to be able to mount it in pretty much any direction. Um, the ears, screws and anchors for those so you've got that guy here you got some screws and anchors um, here is a looks like a tree strap so this would uh, wrap around you know a tree uh, probably threads through the case somehow and then cool. oh yeah here's the hex wrench for making this tighter or looser depending on your particular needs. So we'll test it out and see if it locks it down. It does come with a 32 gig uh, micro SD card, so that's fun and nice. So here's what we got. Now let's take a look at the actual camera itself. It is fairly large here in the battery. All right, I hate battery. Um, okay. So you can see on the bottom here, there's going to be a uh, tripod mount, which this is going to probably screw into there. Yep. So you'll be able to mount that there. Um, we have some protective film. There's a lot of infrareds in there. So that, that makes me think that the infrared is going to actually be really decent. Because even more expensive, I feel like I've had more expensive cameras that didn't have as many. These ones look like these look like sensors. Here looks like we have looks like three sensors in three different directions, and a left, right, and a forward. You have the actual camera here, and this is the actual this is the case that this comes in. So you can so here you can see. Oh, okay. Um, there's a USB port down here, your micro SD slot, your AV out, and then you have an off, test, and on. 
Um, and then you have your controls for menu, replay, looks like photo, video, shot, okay, so so the micro SD slot card, micro SD is going to it's going to fit in here. Just like that. What is in here? There's a lot of space back here for oh okay. So there you go. So you got the AA batteries section goes back here. This thing will draw power. There is also a, an option down here for an external power source. It's six volt, one and a half amp. It looks like there's going to be a plug down here that you can probably pull out and plug it in. So if you have power option, you know that's going to be that'll work for you. It's weird that it works off four or eight. So you, I guess you have options. So yep, it looks like that you can feed the strap through back here. One of these, one of these here. This one it looks like for the the best one because it's got the little grippy bits here. Um, but I think you can also use it down here as well. So if this, if the high side isn't working for you, you can do it on the low side. Yeah. So that's pretty much the unboxing, and uh, I'm gonna have to take this home and set it up outside. I feel like it looks pretty well made here. Um, there is a rubber gasket right here in this um, little divot here. So I feel like it should be pretty decent about keeping the water out. So that's as I guess as far as it, it closes on its own before it reaches the gasket. So you do have to kind of push it down a little bit to get that down and then that pulls it in pretty tight. So I guess it's pretty good. I was thinking it didn't seem like it pulled very tight but um, just as some of the features of this camera here is going to be um, it's a 1080p, 16 megapixel, um, high resolution camera. So each of these three sensors can detect movement in a 60 degree range. Um, so you get you know, 60 degrees from here, here, and from the front. So it should be, should, everything should be pretty covered. It has a 120 degree wide angle lens, 49 um, infrared, or 46 infrared, and I believe there's um, the three in the middle here are going to be just LED, regular LEDs. It's an IP67 waterproof rating, um, so everything should be good from rain and you know snow and all that stuff. And it only works when it detects motion. So it'll take two to three weeks to fill the 32 gigabyte card, and and it's powered by eight AA batteries. It says you can also just use four. I'm sure that just cuts the the amount of length of time because on eight AA batteries, it says that it should be good for up to 16 months just I, I mean I don't know what that means if that's one picture a day one video a day you know whatever so I'm going to um, take this home I'm going to read through the manual and then I'm going to set it up and get some pictures video of uh, the nesting doves outside my house in my tree all right let's we'll see how it goes so I went ahead and posted it in my tree right up there and Right there, that's a bird's nest. So it's right over, it's right over the bird's nest. All right, everybody. So um as you can see from those clips i feel like it does really well it is a um, very nice and clear um sample of you know what you can expect from this camera there wasn't a lot of happenings at night so i didn't get a lot of the night vision ones uh, i'm a little bit sad about that because i think that it would have been cool to see you know exactly something that happened yeah it's, it's a pretty cool little camera i feel like the stills are really nice and clear and the um, and the videos came out really nice. I had it set on the 1080p set, um, 1080p settings. Um, everything records in JPEG and it records in um, um, AVI videos. So very easy to import and use in different things. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend this camera. Um, it's a really nice one. That's pretty much it. Thanks so much. Bye.